Thanks for joining us tonight at 11 o'clock. I'm Brian Collar and last month Vermont Governor Phil Scott signed a bill into law that will increase the penalties of retail theft, discouraging repeat offenders. NBC 5's Tyler Boronsky joins us now from the newsroom after talking to local police and businesses about the bigger punishment that's coming. Tyler. Well, Brian, both local police and businesses tell me retail theft has become a bigger issue they've had to deal with since the COVID-19 pandemic. And they say while this bill is a starting point to stop that growing trend, they question the immediate impact of it. The topic of retail theft, fresh on the mind of University Mall kiosk owner Caleb Castaneda, since it happened to him not even 24 hours ago. I just called security and then security came here and asked me where they were. Castaneda said multiple hats were stolen from his kiosk by two guys that he's seen before. Mall security was able to stop them this time, but Castaneda says that's not always the case. Castaneda deals with retail theft incidents roughly five times a month. He worries if the trend continues, it's going to hit his pockets deeper. If they steal like at least three times per week, something that costs $30, $50, it can be like, in a, in a, in a month it could be like $1,000 and stuff like that. Also inside the South Burlington Mall is Jim Sports, a sports memorabilia and apparel shop. Did you want to back today? Owner James Vitanos says about once a week, they notice something missing from their shelves, but suspects that number is even higher than they realize. However, Vitano says the last six months have been much better thanks to extra patrols around the mall. The, uh, the South Burlington Police and the mall security have upped their, their efforts. Over in Williston. It's a daily occurrence. Police uh, Chief Patrick more. Foley says he's been taking steps to try and reduce the crime by placing undercover officers in stores. To help mitigate the issue, last month, Governor Phil Scott signed a new retail theft bill into law. It would strengthen the penalties for repeat offenders. For example, if a person commits a second theft of a retail value more than $250 and less than $900, they face a $1,000 fine or up to two years in jail if it's committed within two years of the first offense. But Foley says that they'll have to wait and see how this new law will play out. Maybe word will get out and, and maybe it'll lessen that, but I think until uh, we, we hold those people accountable sooner, uh, I think uh, they'll still be out there uh, testing the system. But Castaneda says he doesn't believe it will change a thief's behavior. If people want to steal, they're not going to they're not going to stop if they really want to steal. Now the new law will go into effect on July 1st. For now, live in the newsroom tonight, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.